What's going on everyone? Once again, my name is Aaron Kowak. I am one of your directors of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries at Grace Lutheran Church in Carrollton, Texas, and welcome to this week's devotion for our Grow series. Now, I am, um, oops, there you go. I am very excited because we're going to do something just a little different this week. Uh, we have been focusing on just one artist. Uh, our artist feature this week is Matthew West, a phenomenal a uh, Christian music artist who puts out like just amazing work, y'all. He is so good at what he does. Um, he is one of my favorites. Uh, hopefully you enjoy him. If you don't, I'm sorry, because uh, that's pretty much all you're listening to for this particular playlist. But he has just a plethora of good songs. And we're going to focus on um, just a few of them today, but I picked two uh, before this devotion that I thought played well with each other. And we're going to be focused, focusing today on grace and truth. Now, what that does for us is huge, right? Grace is this gift that God has given us so that we don't um, consistently have to feel like we're always the bad person. And he does this so that we don't have a... Um, but we don't have this handicap on us all the time, right? And the truth of the matter is, we don't always utilize that. And we forget that gift a lot. I mean, a lot. And one of the things that Matthew West does very well is he talks about just that. In this first song that y'all listened to, it was called Grace Wins. Uh, if you watch the video, there's a lot of bad choices and there's a lot of going down rough paths and being in a moment of defeat and these lyrics say some of the most profound things that resonated with me personally i don't know if it will resonate with you uh, i hope it does because i think we've all been there it even just starts off right away in my weakest moment i see you shaking your head in disgrace i can read the disappointment written all over your face here come those whispers in my ears saying who do you think you are Look like you're on your own from here because grace could never reach that far. We get to a point where we're th we think, I have sinned too much. I have gotten to a point where even God couldn't forgive me. How could anyone love me? How could God forgive the sins that I have committed, the atrocities that I have done? And the enemy likes to just whisper in our ear and tell us, yeah, you're right. You've gone too far. You're screwed. You should probably just uh, do something that makes you feel better. Go take that drink. Go take that hit. Whatever it is, right? And you start to justify your actions. And that's what Mr. Matthew West here is telling us. There's a war between guilt and grace, and they're fighting for a sacred space. But I'm living proof grace wins every time. No more lying down in death's defeat. Now I'm rising up in victory, singing hallelujah. Grace wins every time. Y'all, grace is this amazing gift that we don't have to feel guilty all the time. I'm not saying that you're getting away scot-free and that sins don't count. That's not what I'm saying, y'all. We need to hope for and be this like better person and be the shining example of God's light through us. But when darkness sometimes comes in, because we're human... We're going to screw up. When darkness comes in, we can then know that God has given us this amazing gift through his son's death and resurrection and conquering death. We have this gift of grace that we can go forward and continue to do good work without the burden of guilt upon us. This second song kind of keeps talking about that. The song Truth Be Told, y'all, I love it. Lie number one, you're supposed to have it all together. And when they ask how you're doing, just smile and tell them never better. I... 100% resonate with this. Somebody says, hey man, how you doing? You know, can't complain. You know, what good would it do if I did? You've got your typical responses when people say, how are things going? What's up? What are you doing? You've got your like canned response. If I had to tell people all the time, how are you doing? Hey Aaron, how's it going? Dude, I'm drowning. I'm, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. There's so much going on. I have so much work. And I feel like I can't catch up. I'm top of everything else personally and professionally and emotionally. I am drowning. How many of you guys have felt like that? That you're drowning in these like ocean of emotions and stress. But someone asks, hey, how's it going? I'm doing good. You know, 
Line number two, everyone's life is perfect except yours. So keep your messes and your wounds and your secrets safe with you behind closed doors. Man, I wish I had it together. Like, you know, so-and-so. They really seem like they've got it going on. I wish I made more money. You know, if only I had more money, I'd things would be a lot easier. You know, these are the things that the enemy loves to tell us over and over and over again. And what Mr. Matthew West here is telling us, the truth is rarely told. Can I really stand here unashamed and know that you love your love for me won't change? God, if that's really true, then let the truth be told. We want the truth of God's grace to like pour over us because we consistently feel like we're not enough. And that what is what leads to the enemy whispering in our ear that we need something else besides God's grace. And that's not true. <sighs> Y'all, in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, we can read a pretty easy way to think about it. Three di- it reads, three different times I begged the Lord to take it away. And each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now I am glad to boast about my weakness so that the power of Christ can work through me. Y'all, this is Paul telling it like it is, you know, he's saying, I I tell people about the times when I'm not enough because that's when I can show them God's working through me to overcome these weaknesses. And I might forever have these weaknesses, but God works through me to do good in the message. It says, my grace is enough. It's all you need. My strength comes into its own in your weakness. Once I heard that, I was glad to let it happen. I quit focusing on my handicap and began appreciating the gift. Y'all, that's good. That's good stuff, y'all. We can appreciate the gift of grace that God has given us over and over again because we consistently can be weak in him and that's okay. So as you start going forward through your week and we're celebrating all the things we're thankful for with Thanksgiving, thank God for that grace and our moments of weakness. Because truly, what a gift. Let's pray. God, thank you so, 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 so much for your gift of grace so that your truth can be told through us, that we are forgiven and that we can be weak in you. And that through that weakness, your strength will show. In your name we pray. Amen. Now, I have one more song from Matthew West. It has nothing to do with these other two songs. But I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was clever. And I thought, what a better way to say, Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Be safe. I hope whatever you're doing with your family is great and awesome. I love y'all. We'll see you next week.